Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to talk about the hiring system that we're using here at MB3 and how it kind of transitioned from the very first hire into the Empire Growth type of program we're setting up here where really the teams we're setting up are repeatable processes. Everything that's happening as we build new clients, as we build new stores and get new accounts on board, we can take the same setup that we're creating and really rinse and repeat that setup so that we can handle hundreds or thousands of clients or whatever it may be where our, where our business goes with the empire mentality. So, you know, it started off as just kind of selling goods. We were selling products and I had found a way to uh, make money online myself with advertising and like I said, fulfilling products, things like that. So pretty much you start off project manager or the head of the company, head of the whole uh, project that's going on, the entire campaign and everything that's rocking. So that's you that's starting there. Really what you want to do is your first hire, what I did was find someone who can pretty much do a lot of different things for you. So I wasn't looking at just individual um, you know, employees for individual tasks. I was looking for a utility man who could really do a lot of different things for me because I didn't know all the pieces, all the processes. There's a lot of people starting out, they don't have it processed out. You don't really know the day to day other than what is making you money. So that first hire is someone who can kind of pick it all up, can be your number two, your go-to guy to get things done when too much is on your plate. And really, overall, what this person can become is a manager, the project manager himself, to manage everything that you're about to put into play um, and grow. So they're going to be stepping into your shoes where they'll run that whole show, and then you can rinse and repeat to it in another area, another industry, or whatever it may be you want to go with. Now, from here, with what we did, um, any online business, you're really going to have the same type of uh, pieces and the, the different things that you need done to really get out there to market appropriately, to brand your message, and all that good stuff. So, what we have going on right away is we need uh, customer relations, customer support. When you're selling anything, you need someone to answer the questions that the customers are having. You need someone to fulfill the products that they're buying. These little pieces are one of the first things that you really want to hire out because it's just taking away your time. You know, The more you sell, the more that this is going to happen. That time can be spent better doing other things. So we want to hire that out as soon as possible. Now next off, another important piece that's going to happen on a daily kind of uh, daily basis you want to have in there as soon as possible, especially just kind of make it easily organized when those important tax dates come around and any legal issues that may pop up. But you want an analyst in there. Pretty much the analyst to start off, you're thinking about you're going to hire an accountant. You're going to be doing bookkeeping every day, which you want to keep your numbers, see how much you're spending, how much is coming in, where the money is going. So this is a whole department as you're kind of growing and you have multiple accounts is how we're breaking it down is we have a senior analyst. It's uh, per project, per campaign, per account. So it may be a, a range of uh, niches in a single industry, it may be a client altogether, it may be a range of clients, um, but this is their overall, all of the, that, that number is an analytical part of that account. Now from there we have the accountant, which is business-wise, um, then we have bookkeepers, which are our daily number uh, takers, so every morning, every evening, they're putting the numbers in our spreadsheet so we can see what's working, what's not. And then we have our individual product analyst, project analysts, which are just going to be those that are for individual projects and campaigns going on. So we'll have maybe a social media analyst, and they are only doing the uh, analytics and the numbers and checking out that data on social media. And then we'll have an email analyst. So all that is what a project analyst is. So analytics, very important in there. Um, now next off, we have something like creative director, and this is the creative side, which is things like graphics. So we started off with t-shirts. We had a lot of designs that are needed every day. So this started off with just a graphic designer, someone who can handle our graphics on the t-shirt front. Now as we've expanded, we have a lot more graphic needs, a lot more design needs beyond just uh, graphics as far as digital. We're thinking things along video and as well as the written content out there. So as this grows, we're needing all those pieces, all that content done. So we have a, a creative director that manages the three different areas where we have the graphics like the t-shirt graphics the design team will also be handling things like social media graphics 
email newsletter graphics, anything graphic wise that we need, this team is taking under control. Then we have video, we're doing a lot of video these days and moving that direction a lot more. So we're starting to hire out video editors, an animator, a film crew to be there all, at all times. And then they also, like I said, do the writers, the content director, which handles our email content, our website content, all that major quality written content that needs to be out there. Now, from here, we also have a development team. Now, this comes into if you're doing software or any type of web development at all, is our development team. So this comes down to development lead, our programmers, which are those who know the code, know how to actually do programming. And then web developers are those who do any web, a web page at all. If we have a squeeze funnel or a squeeze page or we're building a list funnel, the web developers are the ones to put up the squeeze page, They're the ones who put up the thank you page, put up any website. They do all the little web development pieces, that little intricate must-haves. Um, then from there, we've got legal. Obviously, you know, as you grow, we're just starting to get now where legal is necessary more so. Um, but as you can see, we don't have that broken down because we haven't made it that far. And then kind of the important part you guys all like is the marketing side. This is the advertising, the actual sending traffic and making sales. So we have this broken down into where a marketing director is our lead, which is first the first hire you're going to have is just someone who can do your social media, someone who can do your email, someone who can handle all of that marketing side of things when you need something done. That project manager is kind of a utility. But as you're breaking down here, we have a marketing director, which pretty much directs all the media campaigns, all marketing going on in sales. This is broken down to individual teams, which has things like direct sales manager, and direct sales is things like our cold calls and our sales staff that actually reach out, so reaches out to customers. We have our media director, which runs our ad side. On this uh, side as well, we're, we're, we include SEO. We don't do much SEO, but it's included in here with our kind of our advertising side of things. Then we have a social media team, which uh, consists of social media strategists, which is the strategy, the planning, letting know what's going on. This is broken down with the community manager. This is gonna be interacting with all the fans and um, all the messages and all that stuff. And then lastly, we have an email strategist, which runs the email team and plans that. Now, a lot of this is working together. A lot of these cross over and work on their campaigns. All these main departments are meeting up and uh, talking every week about what's going on, what's the campaign at hand, and they take their teams and make that section happen from it. The project manager is that number two, that one probably you right now, who is just making sure all of this is happening on time according to the plan. Each of these we have every Friday, we have them come in with reports on what went on in your department. And then we can have a team meeting of where do we go from here. So that's pretty much how we have it broken down. Now, like I said, we all work together, different pieces, whenever we're doing an advertising, they might need to talk to the graphics team to get those ad graphics and vice versa, what's going on. And we also have project executives, which I didn't mention. And these are kind of our utility do it all virtual assistant type players, which pretty much every single one of these pieces has project executives working with them. We're like social media team. The strategist is the one planning it. You know, coming up to strategy, the community manager is the one talking to the fans and really being that voice. The project executives are another piece here, and they're the ones who are actually posting the content. They're the ones researching photos and getting all that type of stuff out there. Same type of thing goes on with the other pieces as well. They're the, the doers, the executives get it done. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helped a lot. This is how we're growing and expanding the MV3 empire. Um, as I said, it starts off with you maybe hire one more, then you're getting your graphics or whatever, you're getting your content writers, your ad directors, your social media, analysts, customer support, those first four or five hires, and then you're branching out into those specifics. And as this goes another year from now, as we grow, these, I'm sure every one of these will be growing and branching out themselves, and we'll have this even, uh, you know, a giant, giant, bigger mind map. So thanks guys, my name is Travis Patel. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one.